Jane from Joy of Cards, and today we're going to be making this really cool peace and happiness cabin card. So here's the front, and here's the inside. And this one, the stamps we're going to be using today are Merry Christmas to All, Snow Front. I like this one a lot. <laughs> if you're going to get a good Christmas one, believe it or not, this one is a good one. Uh, Itty Bitty Christmas, which has tons of sayings on it. That one's awesome. The 3D uh, Pinewood Plank uh, embossing folder. And of course, with that, we need to use the embossing folder plate. Otherwise, it won't work. The dies we're going to be using are layering circles and the rectangle stitched frames. So those are those supplies. And then the papers we're going to be using are Mary Merlot, Mossy Meadow, and Shimmery White. And then the inks we're going to use are Balmy Blue, Mary Merlot, Garden Green, Mossy Meadow, and Early Espresso. So let's go ahead and start with our base, our card base. It's a typical five and a half by eight and a half scored in the middle. So a pretty typical base. So here it is right here. I've already done that. And let's do the inside first. So the inside we're going to use uh, a mossy meadow and we're going to cut it the five and a half by four. So I'm going to get my little silicone sheet that I absolutely love. So I keep my workplace clean because if I accidentally tape on something, it tapes on that and as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. And then we want to do, let me open it up, then we want to do the uh, shimmery white inside. And we're going to be stamping Happy Holidays and the Little Snowman with our Stamparatus because this particular stamp, is, it's got a little girth to it. So we need to go ahead and make sure it stamps properly. So why don't I grab my Stamparatus here? put this to the side and I've got my plates all lined up with the sentiment right there now the sentiment is coming from and art is coming from the Merry Christmas almost forgot it Merry Christmas for to all so it's two different stamps so you kind of have to line them up so this is good to have it as well and then I've always already marked the little spot that I know I'm going to use for my stamps and so the happy holidays is what I've chosen and here's our Merry Merlot so go ahead and open it up carefully try not to touch the ink as much as possible and then give it a good a good little tap 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 and it doesn't matter if you get some on the glass because it will just wipe right off and then we're gonna put this in down see how it turns out now it didn't do the bottom so I somehow missed it and this is why the Stamparatus is great because if it doesn't pick it all up you can do it again and we can do it again let me move my magnets maybe my magnets are a little in the way and tap 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 and push down on it really good and you know what? I'm gonna do it one more time tap 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 give it a nice little push Perfect. So I'm going to take this off because we're going to use our Stamparatus on something else. And then I'm going to take this off here. Put my magnets back on. And now I'm going to do the little snowman, which is right down in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and get my little snowman out and also my Stampin' Up Stampin' Pad here. This is great because this particular stamp isn't one of those orange ones so it has no cushion to it so this will will make more better contact with your paper so I'm gonna get my uh, Mary Merlot ink again and tap 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 try not to rock it or push it too hard those things will mess your your paper up and then give it a nice even push on the paper lift up and it's perfect so I'm gonna go ahead now you notice I'm not going to just put this stamp to the side. I'm going to close it up because you know you're just going to put your project in it later, your fingers in it or something. And of course, always make sure. In fact, if I wasn't making a video, I'd go and wash my hands. I like to wash my hands in between everything. So the next thing I'm going to do, I don't know if you could tell in the video, but we've got a little snow right here, just an extra little added doohickey. So we're going to take our Tombow, Tombow, 
and just draw a little little glue right under the snowman that don't hit the ink because it'll smear so you don't want to smear your ink and then i'm going to take the ice stamping glitter and i'm just going to pour it on top Bunk. and then i'm going to pour some in here for later you'll see that and then i'm going to take this little guy and i'm going to put him to the side and let him dry so here he is i'm putting him to the side okay put that to the side and we're going to put that on before we're at the end so we're just going to let that dry for a while so the next part is the card front so the card front is a very easy five and a quarter by four so let's go ahead and put this down like that and then the next piece if you could tell in the video it's the planked in 3d embossing folder which is this one now whenever you're doing something that has lines to it you know you want to make sure when you take your white piece of paper you put it in the direction that you want it on the card it'd be, be air awful if you put it in the wrong way and these lines are going horizontal instead of vertical so when you put your white piece of paper into 3d emboss it make sure the the lines are going the correct direction also you have to because this is a 3d embossing folder you have to use the 3d embossing folder plate is stampin up number 149658 and this is the formula for the stacking. So you've got your base plate for your die cutting machine. You're gonna take your 3D embossing folder, you put your paper in it like that, and then this plate on top, and that's all, and run it right through, and it'll be perfect. If you don't have this embossing plate, it won't work, believe me. So base plate, your folder with the paper in it, this on top, run it through, and it's perfect. So I went ahead and did that for us so you're not washing me uh, embossed paper. So and I'm going to go ahead and fix this as well. We'll just put that right on top. Okay, and then we're going to uh, do the sentiment, which we will be using these rectangle stitched frames. Now, we're going to be using the smallest and the second smallest frame so these two right here so this is going to be the merry merlot and the small one's going to be the shimmery white so we're going to go ahead and die cut those which i already did there you go so die cut those and then i'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment on it and that sentiment is from the itty bitty christmas and we're going to do that in Mossy Meadow. You know what I really like about Stampin' Up? Because I was a scrapbooker for a long time. And it, the one trick with, with scrapbooking is that what papers do you use? What inks do you use? How do they all match? And everything in Stampin' Up's line, the paper has ink, which has everything that you're going to need. So everything always matches. So I know this Mossy Meadow paper here there's an ink for. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment on the Whisper White here. And tap, 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 real gentle. Don't rock it straight up and down. And then I'm going to take this and very much center it, not only on the page, but the pressure as well, so we don't get that little shadow. I'm going to put that there and lift it up. Perfect. And then Next, what do we do? We close our box. Because if you don't, you're just going to put something in it. So we've got that. And that, notice also that there's a front to those and back to those stitched uh, rectangle frames. You want to make sure you've got the right side. And then I'm going to just nail this on here. Just like that. Put it in the middle. And then I love these little metallic pearls. These are so cool. So I'm going to just plop one, a couple of these down on each side using my fingernail. Make sure you grab, grab the little glue dot or little, you know, uh, dot underneath so they'll fix. And then we're going to go ahead and put three dimensionals down. So there's one on each end and then one in the middle so it doesn't get all squished. It's like, pew, pew, pew. Okay. And then we're going to put this right in the middle 
So kind of totally toward the bottom. So we got a good part of this done. Now we're going to use the layering circles. And the two layering circles you want are the biggest one in the scallop and the biggest one of just the, the regular. And you're going to do Mary Merlot and Whisper White again. Now, this time when you cut it, you're going to cut one of the Mary Merlot and you're going to cut two of the uh, shimmery white. And there's a reason, because we are going to take a part of one of those circles and cut this, just kind of freehand it, and we're going to affix all this glitter. And the other one we're gonna do the background for. So, so I went ahead and cut those all out, so biggest ones of these, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and through the magic of, I've already done this, um, I've cut just that little swoosh there for the snow. So that was one of the circles, so we can throw that one away, Oop, done. And then we're gonna take our uh, ice stamp and glitter again, and I put a bunch on the bottom here, and I'm gonna take this little swoopy thing that I made and get some scrap paper, and we're gonna take our Tombow, and we're gonna cover the entire piece. Now, do the edge first, so you make sure that that uh, glitter gets on the edges here and so all around the edges and then totally in the middle I'll even grab my uh, thing here to hold it down and put it all over just really swish it around and I'm sure somebody's got a tool for this somewhere so anyway this is how I do it so put this all over and then we're going to take our tweezers and pull it up and we're gonna dump it in here just like that and make sure it all sticks get all that glitter on there and it'll look like that now you see I must not have gotten enough uh, glue on the bottom so I'm just gonna put some glue here so make sure you get those edges real good because that's real important and done with that. So we're going to put this to the side because I want that to dry just a little bit. Okay, the next is we're going to do the sky and the trees. So here's a, that other circle and we're going to take the balmy blue and I'm going to take one of these fancy brushes that I got. And here's the right way to hold it. You put your finger here, you hold it like this, okay? And then you swish it around. So on this one, we're going to get all the blue basically around the outside, a little toward the middle, but leave some white right here. So I'm going to swish it down. I do like giving it a good little wisp on the scratch paper before I lay it down. And just get most of like two thirds of the paper because you don't you don't have to do this bottom part because it's covered but you want to make sure that you've got enough going down the sides that'll cover okay and just give it a that's what your little finger is there for to give it some pressure if you wanted to do that alrighty so and once again we're gonna close our box this is destroyer of all projects is an open ink box. So we've got that. And then we're going to do the trees. And the trees, we'll use our stampin' pad here. And we're going to take the tallest tree from this uh, snow front. The tallest tree here. And we've got a bunch of trees here and a few here. And we're going to use the mossy meadow again open it up and then whoops see I put my finger right in it so go ahead and get that off real quick and then we're gonna stamp like half the stamp so we're gonna take it here now most of this bottom part is going to be covered by the glitter so um, we want to get the trees tall enough you can see it but not too low and then you stamp once and then don't ink and stamp right next to it so it'll give that you know far away look so we're going to do that again stamp 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 
one and I'll put one here. Okay. You know what? And I think I'll even put one here. Okay. And then I'm going to put one here and here. Just like that. Now, all this doesn't matter because you're not going to see it. So that's the main tree. And then I've got another little stamp that we can give a little more depth to our trees. Okay, what do we do? We close our ink boxes, fold out, make sure they snap real tight. Um, so I'm going to use garden green and I'm going to give it a nice little definition. And I'm going to take the second tallest tree, which is right here, and we're going to take this different color and kind of put it in the middle on top. Just, just kind of gives it a little something, something. Just right on top of it. Okay. And then we're going to what? We're going to close our box. Yes, we're going to close our box. And make sure, whoopsie, you got to make sure they, they close up. Okay. Now the, the kind of tricky part. We're going to do the cabin. And you think, oh, the cabin isn't that hard. Yeah, it's kind of a, a not-so-nice little creature of the night. Um, so I've got a two-tone cabin here. And what this is, and I tried different ways, and I found the best way to do it with, was with my Stamparatus. And this is why. Um, and we also need a scratch piece of paper. I'll just use this. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a template. So pick like a silly piece of paper uh, that you have no, you know, just like that. A nothing piece of paper. Let's do this first. Let's use this one. And try not to break your magnets as you do. And we're going to make a template just out of any old color. So let's go ahead and do this. Pull this down and up. And let's just take, uh, for instance, who cares? The darkest, uh, one of the darker colors. So here it is, Mossy Meadow. Okay, and you're gonna make this template and of course close your ink. Okay, and then you're going to fussy cut this. So you're gonna cut everything around it, all the way around, and then you're gonna cut the roof off. So what you're gonna get is the house and then the roof because we're trying to make this a two-toned stamp. Now, I tried to use the right stamps, and that didn't, that didn't work. It came out kind of weird. So I checked that idea, and then I thought, well, I'm just going to have to mask it and use the stamping pads. This just gave the best effect. So do your little template, cut all around it, cut the roof off, and cut the house off. Don't worry about the smoke. You can just cut that out and throw it away. Okay. And then we're going to take a piece of paper here, your shimmery white. You're going to, and my mine is dirty now because I've just stamped on it. So clean your stamp. Put it down wherever you need it. Pull it up. And then you're going to mask things off. So the first thing we're going to mask off, and I'm going to move this over here real quick, is this one's, this one's a little devil. Um, the first thing you're going to mask off is the house. So turn it over to the other side and mask off that house. Nice and good. And then you're going to take your early espresso, and you're going to do the roof and the smoke. Now, if you just put it down nice and hard, um, even if you pull up your mask, it's okay. You'll have enough ink on there to, to do the job. So I'm going to push this down and give it another one. And the mask stayed down. So the next thing, and don't forget, because <laughs> I always forgot to take my mask off. Take the mask off. And then you're going to take the uh, roof. I got another, a better one. And you're going to mask the roof. Now, and you know what? I can go ahead and stamp this. There's no reason why I can't. Okay. And then I'm going to mask the roof here. I can even take another little piece and do that smoke. And then I'm going to take, of course, my mossy meadow and close that thing up. Because guess what? I just threw a card over there and it could have gotten all inked up. That would have been terrible. Now the next one I'm going to take 
is the Mary Merlot. I masked off the roof and the little smoke thing, and I'm going to push this down nice and good. And if it doesn't come up, this one did, but that's okay. Just take another one over the smoke. Oopsie. Actually, it might be all right with just that one time, so we're going to give it a shot. And I'm going to push down on it. And that's, believe it or not, is good enough because we're going to do something else to this. We are going to take one of these blending pens and we are going to give it a little blending. So I'm going to make sure there's no ink on this because it'll look discolored. But as long as you do this and now no ink comes off, you're good, good to go. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to do, it's got little windows here. So I'm going to emphasize the windows. That's my dog dying, dying in the background. Poor Fido, my little Pomeranian's choking to death. And then um, do the house and just go over it real nice. And this part on the bottom, we're going to probably cut off. And then after you do that red part, get all the red off of your blending pen. And then you're going to do the roof. And just go right over and see how it really nicely blends in. Because this stamp is actually like a watercolor stamp. So you, you do want to kind of fill it in. And then grab the smoke here. And make sure you put your lid on. You don't want this to dry out. And then the next thing you're going to do is fussy cut it. So you're going to cut this all out. And I've already done one here. So it looks like that. And here's a little smoke right here. So we'll put that to the side, take away the stamparatus, okay? And let's go ahead and put our, and look what I did, I left an ink cartridge open. That's bad, that's just waiting to be destroyed here. So let's take our little mask off here, get rid of that. And what, close it up, <laughs> close it up, close it up. And my hands are a little inky, so I'm gonna go ahead, and it's a good, Good thing to just in between go and wash your hands because you will nab something sooner or later okay so we're gonna go ahead and snail this up to the scallop right here and then we're gonna take remember this guy the snow yay and we're gonna put this down below here so let's nail that all up grab our snow and make sure you don't block your little scallops on the bottom here and put your snow on. There's our snow. Great. And then we're going to take our cabin. And where's my little silicone thing? That silicone mat is great because I'm going to I'm going to uh, snail something kind of small here and you know it's going to get on something. So if you use your silicone mat then everything stays clean and it's awesome. And then we're going to take the little cabin here and we're going to tuck it under the snow part a little bit. And then I'm going to take this tiny little smoke and put it in my tweezers. And I'm going to take um, the fine tip glue. This stuff, also another spectacular product by Stampin' Up. And what's great about it is that I have the different kind that I'm, I'm sure a lot of you use. It's got the little silver tip on it and the pin, and that thing clogs all the time. And I bent my pin, and then I lost my pin. This thing is great because the cap comes with the pin already inside of it. And I'd show you that from my scrapbook table. Oh, no, I found it. I was going to say it ate it, but it didn't. So this already has a pin in it. So you just line it up and push it in, and then it screws down, and it doesn't clog. So... Just like that. So you push it in and screw it down and it stays unclogged. I, I have not had this thing clogged yet and I leave it out all the time and it's like whoopsie. So but take your fine tip glue and put it on. Because I don't think I want to snail that part. I think you really I know it's really small and so I just want to whoop, make sure you it's going the right way. Okay, and then we're going to take a little budge right there. Then we're going to take our card front and we're going to put dimensionals down. Oops. 
dimensionals down, not ink, my dimensionals, which are deciding to hide as well. So I'll take these, some of these, and I'm going to put a bunch here. One, two, three, about four of them. That's fine. I'll get rid of those, get rid of those, <laughs> and just put it down right here in the middle. And that's it. That's the card. So, and oh, you know what? We had something drying, didn't we? So let's get our other piece that we set to the side to dry because, you know, it has that gl that glitter on there. And I really wanted to make sure that it affixed all the way. So here is my insert. And I'm going to go ahead and reverse and glue on the base here. And look, look what I left open. That's just for me to put my finger in it just for the end product. And then I'm gonna put this right here. Bunk, 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 bunk. And that's it. So, pretty nifty card. The, the hardest part was that cabin and getting it to work right. And you really do need the Stamparatus to do it. Uh, I tried to color on the stamps and then stamp it. It didn't work. And then of course the blending pen, this thing just kind of made it worthwhile. So. That's it. And if you look, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and, and uh, all that good stuff. And I do videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So what is going to be next? So anyway, Merry Christmas. Bye.